internet icon brought to you by the Yom Yom F Network. We've received thousands of video submissions and narrowed it down to our top finalists who have gathered here in Hollywood. Our judges will critique those video submissions till we narrow it down to our top 10. They will then compete in a series of challenges with time constraints and specific rules. After every screening, we'll eliminate one contestant till we discover the next internet icon. Previously on Internet Icon. I lead this morning to one last night. And away we go! I actually have no idea what I'm going to shoot for my video today. Do you feel okay? I have three hours to shoot and edit. We will wow the judges. What's Gucci, my ninjas? Did she smell the desert air? We're filming a very serious scene. It's a scene about lovemaking with mannequins. Lana, the Rydell brothers, we are coming for you. It's Dayside production. Rydell brothers are my nemeses. Before the last episode, you, the audience, will vote on our final two contestants to determine who will be the next Internet Icon. Welcome to another challenge elimination here at Internet Icon. Do you remember our judges? Internet sensation Ryan Higa, <laughs> film and TV star Christine Lakin, and the one and only Dietrich. Uh, Dietrich. Your challenge was to create an infomercial utilizing the actors and or the props from our iconography room. With only eight contestants left, things are really heating up. But now it's time to find out which of you were able to pull it together and which one of you the judges will be sending home. <laughs> First up, Kai. This is called Nerves of Steel. Uh, well, welcome everyone. This is the, the this is the incredible urn collection. I'm your host, Kyle Hatch. I will be showing you through these incredible products. Oh, okay. Are we rolling? I'm sorry. I'm. I told you I get nervous. Can we cut? The first item is um, this exotic. Uh, mm, I don't know what this is. It is like we're in the center of the sun. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Kyle. Well done, man. Terrific video. So funny. Um, do you was that improv or did um, you write that? Basically, when I heard the challenge last night, I was driving home and I thought to myself, you know, it'd be funny if I just didn't know anything about any of the props, and which relieved a lot of stress because it didn't matter which props I got the next morning, and so... Smart. That's really smart of you. You know what, I, I actually really liked uh, your video, and we often get inspired by what's actually going on, and sometimes you're stuck at your house or your apartment, and you always constantly have to use the same things around your house, and you figure out a way to make it easier on yourself, and I think that's what the brilliant part about it. The only thing I would say is that I don't know if three minutes would have been, you know, the best thing to do. Maybe a minute and a half to two minutes would have been perfect for that style of comedy. But overall, well done and great job. Uh, personally, this is your weaker video for me. Scenes between strangers are not interesting. And by saying, I don't know what this is in my hand, you're ultimately denying the viewer that you know what you're doing. So for me, um, I wish that you, you do know what the things are in front of you. That's part of the challenge. You have to take a prop and sell it. Uh, and for me, again, I will always speak to what my strength is, which is in storytelling. And what I didn't understand conceptually is what you were selling. For me, that's where, that's, that would be my, my thoughts. But I like you a lot, and, uh, and I expect to see more things from you. Next up, Marlon. And my video is called The Fanboy. Yo, 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 what's Gucci, my ninjas? Your girlfriend's turtle's favorite rapper here, Mar Daddy. What's Gucci? Can't you smell the desert air? The Sahara, see me there. Camel toes everywhere. Camel toes everywhere. Yeah, and that's, that's a cowbell. Cowbell. I know what you're thinking. What's Mar Daddy doing on my TV screen? Well, it's easy. I'm introducing to you the fanboy. I love you, Mar Mar. Shut up, not that kind. Oh, fantabulous. Warning, the fanboy contains chemicals that might cause pregnancy or other life-ruining events. It cannot be used as a magic carpet ride nor a tool to travel between the time zones or break any laws of the state of Texas or Arizona when the moon is waning, waxing, or full. Don't be a fool, order now. <laughs> yeah. 
Christine, your thoughts? Marlon, I don't know where you came from, but <laughs> you are, you just think of the craziest things. Um, I don't know where, how your mind works, but it's hilarious. It's just so out of left field. You, Marlon, are the perfect example why production isn't everything. You know, I, your production is great, but it's not obviously compared to like a Rydell Brothers or even like some of the other guys. I don't think your production is quite up there. And that's fine because I was just as entertained and I think that's the perfect example why production isn't everything and people need to understand that. If there's one thing I would touch on is that voiceover at the end. Um, you know, it just it's so much funnier if you just keep it fast paced, especially at the end. Other than that, great job, man. I loved it. I felt like you were very, you know, inspired off of definitely like a lot of Ryan's stuff. Yeah, everything was very fast paced. Sometimes when we turn on a video clip and it's really fast, you don't have time to turn it away because you're just constantly getting stuff thrown at you. You know, it's a very like Robin Williams effect where he just keeps talking, but you're thinking about the joke like three jokes ago. So on that note, like that's amazing. Keep up those things. I would just say the setups for your cutaways could be a little bit more clear. And, and there's something about that organic feel, you know, that not like good production quality feel. It's brilliant because you're making something out of nothing. Great job. Next up, the uh, Rydell Brothers. And we are going to watch Good Thoughts Box. With a Good Thoughts Box, you get unbelievable thought results from a box. So much trash, my thoughts! Oxen are strong and can roam free, but choose to plow hard. That's a good thought. I can take this trash back to work. I can't parallel park this beast anymore! Playful kittens with cute little tails in the fading sunlight. What am I, crazy? That's a good thought. Good Thoughts Box. Order now. The Good Thoughts Box is only five easy payments of $24.99. <laughs> I don't know if those, uh, because you won the challenge yesterday, I don't know if that 30 minutes made a big difference. The, the 30 minutes, like, helped us crazy. Yeah. How that so? doesn't make sense. We, we were able to organize last night what we wanted to do, and given the, the time frame that we had, we were able to really utilize our actors, which that was, I think, the biggest thing, that we had amazing actors, because we didn't have a lot of time with them. So having great quality actors like really sold us to give yeah. them. I mean, we're pitching the ideas to them as we're going, telling them the script, and they're just owning it in five seconds. So that that's what made the difference, really, for us. Yeah. That was absolutely amazing. And, and uh, the reason why is because you have so many things going on for you guys. You're throwing a lot of stuff that you're hoping that we might not catch to where you have to look back at the clip and that means double the views, right? So that concept is amazing. And you, we don't know if they're gonna catch this, but let's just see if they do. And that's what separates extremely clever people. Well done. The actors are great, but I have to give you guys a lot of props. You had to come in and tell them exactly what you wanted in a short amount of time, tell them how over the top to go. They don't know how serious or how avant-garde this is. That's always up to you. What I love about this is that you did the task to its T. You made a perfect infomercial. We've all seen that genre of infomercial at two in the morning when you're getting ready to go up and go to bed. This ridiculous product that nobody needs, that totally doesn't make sense, but you're watching and you're like, that's kind of actually really nice. I might, I could use that. It was a fantastic idea and again, very simple. Great well job, done. guys. Well very done. good. Next up, Justin James Hughes. Oh, I gotta follow them. <laughs> this is Handy Bandy. <laughs> what? Do you have a hard time getting your keys out of your purse when you're talking on your cell phone? Handy Band, the world's second most used rubber device. The Handy Band makes every life situation easier. Look how easy this is, she says. He says, I just love my Handy Band. <laughs> You'll never catch me now, cops. He says, hey, turn on channel 12. You are not gonna believe the crap people buy. Yep, people make some pretty bad life choices. <laughs> oh my god, really funny, really, really funny. Here's what I love, Justin. Not only did you make an infomercial, you made a skip and an infomercial. I've seen your YouTube channel before. This, the stuff you've been submitting lately are so much better than what's on your YouTube channel. I don't mean that as an insult. You're doing really great on this competition. Your cherries at the end are terrific. There's some things, some text in there that scroll by so fast, I would definitely click replay and pause just to find out what you said in there because I know that's something stupid. Rydell Brothers, to me, set the bar and I think you just reset it, in my opinion. And the reason why that is, yeah. no offense to the Rydell Brothers, it, it, was, there was both, it was both great, but the reason why I think it, not in like, 
in other people's eyes the fact that it was so fast. And I'm really proud in it, and that was amazing. Great job. Next up, Lana McKissick. This is Peg Arm Judy. You crave companionship on those lonely Friday nights, but you don't want to deal with unreliable people and emotional baggage. Now, there's Peg Arm Judy. Peg Arm Judy keeps you company all night long and won't get in the way of your favorite romantic comedy. So now, you can make other men jealous on dinner dates and then punch her in the face for leading other guys on. <laughs> of course, Judy comes with a removable hand so you'll no longer have headaches over spreading germs in social situations. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lana, you're just, you're just so funny. You know, the thing I love about you is you take an idea and then you go on, you, you make five jokes out of one idea. You showed me how you took a simple mannequin and how the multiple ways that you can use it. All of them are ridiculous, but it doesn't make any one of them um, less real. I think so far out of anyone that we've seen, I think you used the, uh... You completed the challenge the best. The way you come off on camera, the way you hold yourself, the way you're talking to us right now, like that, those types of things, like you need those qualities to be a YouTuber. I think the only thing I can really say to, is maybe just make it a little bit quicker, but even then, that's not even for me. I'm just saying that for people that are watching it at home. And I know you sing as well too, so you have a lot to offer YouTube. And I think you're brilliant and you're, you're beautiful on camera. And uh, it's just, no, no, not at all. I think you're, I think you're a horrible looking. Oh my God, I'm just kidding. No, you're, I, you're so beautiful on and off camera. Just, just keep up the smile and see like little things like that, how you're just like, you're just feeding into it, like, great job. Next up, Team Morgan. Our video is called Boozer Size. For just $19.95, you can bring the magic of Boozer Size mm -hmm. into your own home. On the toilet, in the shower, in the office, playing ping pong, <laughs> while doing acrobatics, <laughs> at the beach, slam dunking, <laughs> at the morgue, Oh my god. Flirting with oh, Chester C. You could go from this to this. <laughs> yeah, I really liked it a lot. I love that you guys touched on the whole infomercial of exercise, because I think we see these all too often and no one else has done this yet. And the only other thing I would have also loved to see, just because you're both so funny and so physical, when you showed us what the kit was, I wish I'd seen you utilizing those things under your voiceover. Here's a rope to jump with, or to tie yourself to your friend. You guys are obviously very charismatic on uh, camera. There's something I like about this video is the self-deprecation. When you do things like that, it, it makes people feel like, oh, they're just being real. And when people are real, you can really attract to things like that. The only thing I would say is maybe add uh, music in the background on some of the narrations. When we do that as YouTubers, it kind of speeds things along sometimes. And I'm not saying it was crazy slow, I just feel like it could have helped the tempo a little bit more, but great job. I definitely, my favorite part was definitely Justin's abs. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not like that. We can all agree but, on that. But uh, yeah, no, it was just so funny to me. I love when people mess with editing on purpose. You know, it just adds so much. For the listing too, listing is great because you get to visualize see a lot of jokes all at once you just it, boom it hits you you know yeah. use it on your cat use it on your house use it on this use it on that part of that is you know the t comedic timing and the speed that we see and hear these things and I think that needs to be sped up just a little bit okay. the physical comedy is my favorite from you guys that's something I think you have more than anyone else here I think it was good though thank you thank you next up foo music this is lazy foozy to lift a hand, I never want to try, I never want to think again if you until the day I die. If you order in the next five minutes, not only will you get the Lazy Foozy, the extra jumbo cup holder, but we'll also throw in your very own Lazy Susie. We should totally order one. <laughs> You know, it started off really fresh, you know, you sped up the voice. You took this challenge and did it in your style for sure. There were some little mess ups, I don't know if it was on purpose or if it was just me audio wise. Uh, for me, it was just watching this video. I know you guys didn't have much time just like everybody else to, you know, get a lot of shots, but those performance shots just felt really long for me. To me, in my opinion, this took the most work and we see that and we see things like that and I just want to compliment you 
on that type of uh, on those things. I had it like a definitely like a Julian Smith type of feel. I know it's been done before, like that that like awkward like don't break character type of type of feel. And I think like maybe in like 2008 and 2009, like that that style really hit. And I, I love that you guys brought it back and did something clever like that. The ending skit kind of bringing it back, I thought it was the, the greatest part. Uh, any YouTuber or anybody watching YouTube, actually, you always want to end with a laugh. And when you end with a laugh, you're like, I want to click on another video or I want to see it again. I just wish I would have had a little bit more laughs throughout the video, maybe. One thing that um, Ryan and Chester are, are great at, they really write their music to the shots mm -hmm. or they really plan out how they're going to shoot you know, their music video as they're writing it. So maybe just take things into that, like, into consideration. Was great the dancing job. okay? The dancing? <laughs> we won't talk about the dancing. <laughs> <laughs> but everything else, great job, guys. Great. Thank great, great, great. I love this kind of thing because I just love musical stuff. I know that's your thing. And now I've seen the same kind of thing from you three times. Um, so I am going to be looking to see you guys do something different just to know that you can do it. My biggest problem with it is that I think you didn't show us how it worked. Yeah. I didn't know exactly what it was. So a lot of really great stuff in it and um, I'm looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I, this is just a just just for all the groups out there. I just want to say uh, I just want to commend you because working with a group on a YouTube channel and a YouTube video can sometimes be very, very hard. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Next up, Team Desai. This is Flatchel Awesome. Flatchel Awesome. Which make your farts sound really awesome. We have travel edition, home edition, and we also have the princess edition for those men or women that like to be a little adventurous with their farts. These disguise your farts. What do they do? I already said that. They already do what they do. They disguise your farts. And let's show you how they work. Hello, I'm Dr. Eisenberg, the inventor of the Flatchel Awesome. Flatchel Awesome! Oh, honey. I know. I need to get you out and about. I just don't like leaving the house. Oh, ugh. Just stick it up your butt. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Not bad. We're going out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Who brought the kitty to work? And for you rough and tough, burly, sweaty, smelly men, we've got the extreme flatchel awesome. All you have to do is just shove it up your butt. It's that simple. <laughs> As you can see from those satisfied customers, now with an easy payment of 99 cents a month for 20 years, you could have Flatchel Awesome for yourself. Absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. And you could, the thing uh, that is, is, is great about it, this is that you guys planted so many seeds to, to go back to in the end. Something with booty holes and comedy is just funny in general. And you guys, because it's like on like the borderline of being like disgusting, but it's like childish. So you're gonna get like a lot of kids clicking on those types of videos. And little kids love those dumb things. And I absolutely loved it. You guys were obviously in the bottom four last time. And um, you know, you were there for a reason. And I gotta say, I, I think you guys really did step it up this time. This is one of my favorite videos so far, honestly. And um, I just, this, it was so great. Like, just that cherry at the end when shoving up that super soaker, was that? <laughs> and then just that explosion, I was not, I didn't know what to expect. Such a big step up from, from the last challenge. Great job, guys, seriously. And I'm sorry, to, I'm not gonna mean to interrupt, but like, also like the voiceover, you know, like when they're using the noises from their yes. mouth, like stuff like that. Like, we, I know we love that stuff mm -hmm. that you're still like, at home making these types of videos yes. and I can't find it online so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make it with my mouth. It's the contrast. It's yeah. The contrast between your great production value and just like I'm sorry just crappy you know sound effects it's just so, something about it's it. It's funny. Just so funny to it's me. funny. You, know, you don't get that. It's real. TV. It's real. Yeah. yeah. Terrific. You set it, everything up very well in the beginning with what those props were and what, um, if you have a flatulence problem, here are some things that could help you. Now, I didn't understand what, how these things were going to help until you started, um, you know, the video with, uh, with all the different people who were in need of this. But once you did that, then I had an idea of, okay, now what's that going to sound like? And what's that going to sound like? I mean, I love a good fart joke, and I think this really <laughs> takes it there. But the transition right before the two girls start their walk, I almost wish there had been some kind of a voice over or we had gone back to you to say, and it's not just for men, women have these problems too. To Let's take a up, look. Right. A little bit of a setup because it just seemed like a scene started. That was my only comment, yeah, but cool. really great job, you guys. Job. Very funny. Well done. So now it's time for the judges to make a decision. So I'll ask everyone to stand up and make your way to the green room. I'm just happy with all the videos. I feel like you guys were too, right? It was entertaining. Yes. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
I thought, again, Team Rydell did a great job. I think they set the ball really high in the beginning. Their idea was uh, clean, and it was also safe. They used something, you know, a box, good thoughts box. There's nothing really crazy inventive about that, but it was a really clean, safe idea. That's, you know, they did a... A box you know, isn't a crazy risk. No. You can put anything in a box. Yeah, and, and you, you I mean, make... It was cute, it was clever, it was kind effective. Of, I mean, I've seen that. You know? I, I like I like it, yeah. It's it's, it's been done. That been done, but the thing is, it helps because you get more chances for voiceover, so it was like clever at the same time. I thought, you know, I thought Justin's Justin. video was great. I thought he it was took my took something favorite. that was so dumb, this like elastic so band, and he made something so ridiculous. And that's kind of, for me, the fun of watching watching an infomercial. It's buying something that you don't need, you yeah, know? It's always. like a ridiculous, yeah. it's like a great way to spoof something that's such a dumb product. I thought he did that really well. And, and adding the skit before and after, just kind of right. making like, okay, this was the challenge, but I'm just gonna add this too. Like, totally. wasn't bored at all. I mean, do we right. want to talk about Lana? She was another favorite just, of mine. Uh, Lana was, I think she would have cut it up a little bit faster. Yeah, I, think her, I think her and Justin were on the same thought process on how they yeah. want to do everything. Which um, I think it was just a little too long. And, I agree. Exactly. But I still got exactly. it, you know, yeah. so, but she was a definitely Justin one of was the good version of I, Lana. Yeah. I, yeah. I felt like the first one to me, uh, Kyle. Kyle wasn't the strongest to me. Yeah. I like the fact that he took the simple way out of doing like the whole like bloopers type of thing. Um, but kind of like what you said in about was... like, you were naming so many ideas. I was actually getting more like I attracted more to your video yeah. idea. Like I was like, oh wait, you're right. He totally could have so, done it. Like, the world is your oyster. And if is... you're selling something, that was the problem. He didn't really complete the task. He didn't, he didn't he sell didn't. me anything. Yeah. He, didn't. he actually said, I don't know what this is. How can you sell me a prop that you don't make it up? Yeah, then make I think, it up. And Kyle, he's the one who didn't complete it last week. Yeah. He, can't he didn't just not complete a challenge. I put Marlin as well. I kind of agree, but um, I think that I'm happy that he's inspired so much by you, but they might not see the he's, uniqueness. He, there's some similarities, but I think he's more random. Marlin has never been strong conceptually. He's just a guy who has really strange and oddball ideas. But when you actually think about it, I have no idea what that commercial was about. It's about a fan that you could play games on. I a lot. I really stepped it up. Absolutely clever would the whole way through. There the was two? so many concepts. I would put him in the top two. I don't think Foo Music, I don't think this was their strongest week by any means. So. Team Morgan, at least there was a concept there and we understood what it was. I have a three-way tie for second to the last. The work that you are doing and the creativity that you are having, um, you're putting into your videos is not lost on any of us. So keep up the amazing work all around. With that being said, um, sadly, we do have to get rid of one of you. Uh, when I call your name, just please step forward. Justin Hughes. Team Dayside. Kyle Hatch. And Marlon Chan. The rest of you are safe. You can make your way to the green room. Marlon Chan, Kyle Hatch, Justin Hughes, Team Dayside. You represent the highest and the lowest scores. Justin Hughes and Team Dayside, you have the highest scores. We thought your videos were really well done, very inventive. Uh, Team Dayside, I really feel like you guys stepped it up from the last challenge. The winner of the infomercial challenge for Internet Icon is Justin Hughes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Team Dayside, you are safe. Congratulations. You can all make your way to the green room. Great job, guys. Great job. Outstanding job to both you guys today. And I think also, overall, like, just really we really just want to see exactly what you're selling. So really both of you guys have to really concentrate on what the challenge is and making sure that everybody in, in all over the world that clicks on that video, they're going to know exactly what they're getting themselves into. You know, sometimes you could be too smart for the challenge. And I think both of you guys at this point in time were too smart for this challenge. We do have to get rid of one of you. So let's just get into it. Marlon. I'm sorry, but you are not our internet icon. Which means, obviously, Kyle, you are safe. But again, you've been in the bottom two twice, bro. You know, you gotta step it up. You gotta complete these challenges. But you can make, make your way back to the green room. 
Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. You're on the right path, you know, and just kind of sculpting those ideas that you really want to come to life, you're going to do it. It's just a matter of time, you know, and uh, hopefully uh, you, you come back to the show next year and just rip it. Yeah, you know? we're going to continue to expect keep big things that. from you. I'm going to keep watching you. All right. Well done, man. Good job. Great job, man. Seriously, thank you. Sad to say goodbye, but thank you so much, Mom. Good job. Yeah. We'll see you soon, I Take hope. Take care, man. We'll, we'll be watching you. We will. Definitely. <sighs> yeah, I could definitely tell I slipped up on my video a lot, big time. But um, it was definitely a really fun ride and experience. Yesterday, at least, I didn't care for some of the videos. Today was just How are getting you? rid of someone I loved. Yeah. It's, it, look, we have a plot. We have kind of like got rid of yourself. We have an abundance. <laughs> you know, That's like because his mindset is so it. smart. He's I so like, smart. I want to you notice his style was like your your first it is. few videos. I love. I mean, I, yeah, he's, he's good. Look where you've grown. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's, he's, he's gonna he's do good. the same thing. I think, man, I just want to help him in a way. Yeah, of course. But <laughs> you did him. with this competition. Because yeah. he bragged a lot, like when you'd come back home and you'd talk about this one. That was the kid, right? Yeah, that's the one kid. I was like, his mindset is brilliant. Yeah, he's a smart kid. He is a smart kid. Congratulations on surviving yet another elimination. Uh, you guys made some amazing videos today. And you, you really all stepped up your game so much, so thank you for that. Well, your next challenge begins immediately. Challenge three is the prop challenge. We are all going to be giving you each the five same props. You must use all five of these props in your video. The props are a rubber ducky, a wig, a hula hoop, a banana peel, and a Twinkie. You will not be able to use any other props from the iconography wall, but you will be able to use any of the actors. So go home, think about your concept, have a nice rest, and be prepared to come back for a full day of filming on the next challenge. Yeah. He kind of screwed us over. We really needed those actors. I wanted nothing more for them to go home. If I don't crap my pants, it'll be a miracle. I'm told I have to film another scene for an episode of a TV show that I had shot before Internet Icon started. This is something I really want. So he's doing this without informing us. So he's jeopardized the production. If you were on another show, they would move you off. Justin Hughes has double booked today. We're going to give him the opportunity to try to be here. We'll run his video last. If I were to show that video to somebody else, wouldn't they be like, I got to see more than this guy? I don't know. You guys don't see what I see. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your boy Dietrich from The Dominic Show, and I'm out here with an uh, internet icon, uh, side by Christine and Ryan uh, Higa. Just got done judging, I guess, uh, the second challenge of these amazing people we had to send someone home today. Uh, blown away by the talent. I'm honored to be sitting here next to these two people. Uh, telling these people what I think because I'm just like them, so it's uh, definitely relatable. I had a great time. Um, I saw some tears today, and it, it just makes me honored and uh, grateful for everything I have, and, and uh, just makes me want to just be like go home and subscribe to all of them because they're all amazing people. If you're watching this, great job today. I'm a huge fan, and no matter what happens, just uh, keep making internet videos. Much love, Dietrich. Yeah. Realistically, you can go home and already start editing and then just put video yeah. in If video. we find any footage of them not on this property, then they're disqualified. I know, but you can literally, if you wanted to... What? No. Why do you have such a sneaky mind? Why, why are you thinking... Yeah, why are you... Because I'm trying to... First, the first thing you think... Because no, you know what you're thinking. I don't do it. You would think strategically. I think of how to be honest and fair. <laughs>